Hello, everyone. Um, I wanted to give you um, another quick example um, of some things that we didn't get to in class. Um, those two things are the remainder theorem and the factor theorem. Um, I'm not actually going to test you on these, um, but there are some, um, uh, some, there's two topics in Alex that um, include the remainder theorem and the factor theorem. So I wanted you to have an, um, a video to help with that. Um, but again, I won't be testing you on these two on test two on Friday, or on, sorry, on Monday. Test two is on Monday, March 20th. Um, I won't be testing you on these guys and it won't be on your final as well. But um, these are in two of those topics in Alex. So what do the remainder theorem and the factor theorem say? Well, the remainder theorem says we can find function values by using polynomial division. Okay, so really what that means is, oops, let me see if I can, aha, there we go. Um, for a polynomial, P of X, um, and a number, we're gonna call it C. If I wanted to find P of C, that means if x equals c and I plug c into my polynomial for x, um, the number that I get out at the end of that is actually going to be equal to the number that I would get as my remainder when I do polynomial long division and I take p of x and I divide by x minus c. Um, this factor x minus c that's the factor um, that basically would create um, an x-intercept of c. So kind of like when we were um, when we knew our x-intercepts and we were recreating our polynomial, we did that in class on Wednesday. Um, x minus c is the factor that creates this number c. So that's what we would divide by. And when you take your polynomial and you divide by x minus c, the number you get is your remainder at the very end that's actually going to be exactly the same number as if you would take C, plug it in for X, and put the whole thing in a calculator. It's the same thing. So um, we'll go ahead and I'll show you that process in a minute, but that's what the remainder theorem says. It says that instead of plugging a number in to your function, you can do polynomial long division instead. And the factor theorem says that um, if, um, the remainder equals zero when P of X is divided by X minus C. So basically, if you do your big polynomial and you divide by X minus C and you get a remainder of zero when you do the polynomial long division, then X minus C is a factor of your polynomial p of x. Now, when I say that x minus c is a factor of p of x, what that means is if you take, if you would take your big polynomial and you would factor it down like we're used to seeing, you would get p of x equals thing one times thing two times thing three all the way, you get it factored all the way down. It basically means that X minus C is going to show up in here somewhere. And actually, I wish I wouldn't have put it right here. Um, so if you get this factor down into thing one times thing two and all the way down, um, it means that X minus C is going to be in here somewhere. It could be the one at the end. It could be one in the middle. But it, it's, it's going to be one of these factors that comes out when you factor it completely. So, And that's going to be true of any of these kind of things that show up in your factored form they will all have a remainder of zero when you divide your original polynomial by them. So that's what these theorems say. Let's practice using these. So example one here, use the factor theorem to find P of three for the polynomial P of X equals X to the third minus two X squared minus four X plus seven. Now P of three, we know that what this really means is this says x equals three, and we would take three and plug it into our polynomial for x everywhere. 
Um, you could plug that in your calculator and get a number out. But let's say you didn't have your calculator and it's just, you, you can't handle the mental math to plug that in. Then another option that you have for figuring out what P of three is, is P of three is going to equal the remainder when you take your polynomial and you divide by X minus three. So to use the, oh, this is, yeah, this is factor theorem, but it's actually, this should be remainder theorem. That's a typo on my part. Sorry about that. This should say use the remainder theorem to do this. So um, the remainder theorem says that we can take our polynomial P of X, which is X to the third minus two X squared minus four X plus seven. We'll take our polynomial and we are going to divide by X minus three, the factor that would create X equals three right? That's X minus three. That's what we're going to divide by. And now we'll do polynomial long division. So I'm going to kind of run through this um, without some of the extra stuff around the outside. Um, like I did up here, um, I made another video about this. Um, that red stuff around the outside, you don't need to write that, but you certainly can. So if that helps you, write it all out. But for the thing on top, I'm going to do leading term inside divided by leading term outside. So x to the third divided by x, that gives me x squared. Now I'm going to take that x squared and I'm going to multiply it by my entire divisor x minus three, and I'm going to distribute it. So when I do x squared times x, I get x to the third. When I do x squared times negative three, I get negative three x squared. Now I'm going to subtract the whole thing. So x to the third minus x to the third, those go away, which is excellent. Negative two x squared minus a negative three x squared. That really means plus three x squared. So negative two x squared plus three x squared gives me a positive one x squared. And I'm gonna bring these guys down. Leading term divided by leading term, x squared divided by x. That's plus X. Distribute X times X minus three. X times X is X squared. X times negative three is negative three X. I'm gonna subtract the whole thing. When I do that, one X squared minus X squared, those go away. Negative four X minus a negative three X, that means plus three X. Negative four X plus three X is negative one X. And I'm gonna bring down that plus seven. Almost done. Leading term inside divided by leading term outside. Negative one X divided by X, that's negative one. And I'm gonna multiply negative one times my whole divisor. Negative one times X is negative one X. Negative one times negative three is plus three. And I'm gonna just subtract that whole thing. When I do that, negative one X minus negative one X, that becomes plus one X. So negative one X plus one X, those cancel. Seven minus three, that is four. Sorry, I'm running out of space. And I'm done. This is my remainder. And that means that that remainder is what the P of three is equal to. So this means the P of three is equal to four. If I wanted to, I could take three and plug it into X everywhere in here and check that in my calculator. Um, and if you do that, uh, you would find that you get four out of your calculator um, when you do that. So you can either use a calculator to check stuff or you could do polynomial long division. And for some people, when you get good at this process, this could actually be faster than trying to plug it in and do mental math, especially um, if mental math isn't your thing. So that's what the remainder theorem says. And then number two here, use the remainder theorem in your work above to determine whether X minus three is a factor of this polynomial. And again, this is another typo. This should say factor theorem. Sorry guys, I got these mixed up when I was typing these up. So. 
Sorry about the typos. Um, so we're going to use the factor theorem and what we did in number one here to figure out whether x minus 3 is a factor of this polynomial. So the factor theorem says that if you take your polynomial and you divide by this x minus 3, if, you're, if your remainder is 0, then x minus 3 is a factor of this polynomial. So the remainder when we did the division was 4. But that is not equal to 0. So what that means is that x minus 3 is not a factor of our polynomial p of x, which is x to the third minus 2x squared minus 4x plus 7. Um, so if we would, if we could factor this polynomial all the way down, x minus 3 would not be a list of, would not be in that list of factors that created that. All right, and then number three, determine whether x plus one is a factor of this polynomial. Well, to figure out whether x plus one is a factor of this polynomial, I would take the polynomial and divide by this and see if we get zero as a remainder. So here we go, we'll practice some more polynomial division. x to the third plus four x squared minus x minus four, I'm going to take that and divide by x plus 1. Again, I'm going to kind of rock through this. x to the third divided by x, that's x squared. When I take x squared and I multiply by x plus 1, distribute it out, you'll get x to the third plus x squared. I'm going to subtract these. x to the third minus x to the third, those cancel. 4x squared minus x squared, that gives me 3x squared. And then I'm going to bring these guys down. Divide your leading terms. 3x squared divided by x. That gives me a positive 3x. And I'm going to multiply 3x by x plus 1 and distribute. So I get 3x times x is 3x squared. 3x times positive 1 gives me plus 3x. And I'm going to subtract. 3x squared minus 3x squared cancel. Negative x minus 3x, that gives me negative 4x. And I'm going to bring this down. Divide your leading terms. Negative 4x divided by x, that's negative 4. And multiply negative 4 times x plus 1, distribute. Negative 4 times x is negative 4x. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4, and I'm going to subtract. Negative 4x minus a negative 4x, that's a plus 4x. Those guys cancel. Negative 4 minus a negative 4, that's actually plus 4. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. Because my remainder equals 0, That means that x plus 1 is a factor. And I'll say just a power of x. It is a factor of x to the third plus 4x squared minus x minus 4. So that's what the remainder and factor theorems say. Um, I hope this helps with those two. Um, topics and Alex. And again, you will not be tested over these guys either on test two on Monday or on your final exam. Um, but these will just help you slide through those um, couple of topics and Alex. Um, have a great weekend. Uh, let me know if you need any help as you are studying for test two and getting that homework eight figured out. Um, I will see you on Monday for test two.